that you've got coming out? Oh, you mean I love you muchly, verily? Yeah, we're going to be going to be looking forward to that too. <laughs> okay. Hey, ho, 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 ho. She sends me too. Oh. What? You've come a long way, Nellie, since you went to second ward school in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Now, just a minute. Where'd that voice come from, Nellie Lusher? Did you recognize it? No. No? It's a voice out of your early childhood, Nellie. Now, listen carefully. It has a startling message for you. This is your life, Nellie Lusher. This is your life. How you doing? Well, I don't know. You just can't say anything. Well, bless your heart, Nellie Lutcher. We lured you here on a pretext, darling, so that we could honor you. Through hard work, hope ever riding high in your heart, with unflinching faith in God, and unselfish loyalty to your family and friends, and a mother's devotion and love for her son. You rose from poverty to high eminence in the entertainment world. Here, I always carry this around. I see you need it. <laughs> yes, that's why this is your life, Nellie Lutcher. Okay. Come on over here to our honor chair. Let's go over here, Nellie, while we spin the record of your life back to the date of your birth. Okay. Over here now, let's get cozy about this whole thing. October 15th, 1916. Where were you born, Nellie? Lake Charles. Yeah. You didn't dream you'd be sitting here, did you, girl? No, I sure didn't. I know you didn't. Yes, you were born in Lake Charles in an unpainted three-room house at 424 Boulevard. Your parents still live there in Lake Charles, don't they? Yes, they do. On the same street at 512. Their help makes it impossible for them to travel. But I assure you, they're watching tonight. Betcha. But this is 1916, and you're the first of ten children born to Susan and Isaac Lutcher. What do you remember most about your childhood, Nellie? Do you feel like talking about it? I remember a very wonderful mother, a very wonderful father, and a very wonderful music teacher who's not living today to witness this. Yes. Dad delivering meat for the Houston Packing Company and mother taking in washing to help out. With the family growing, a bright new ribbon for your pigtails was a real event. Nellie was more interested in the piano in the old parlor than the uh, new ribbon for her hair. Now, there's that voice again. You still don't place it, eh, Nellie? Hmm? It's understandable if you don't, because you haven't heard it in over 20 years, <laughs> you know. It belongs to the charming lady, a dear friend of yours, who was the school nurse who looked down your now-famous throat in your late child's childhood, Miss Maud Reed. And here she is. Look here, Nellie. I'm awfully glad to see you, Nellie. Oh. Nellie can't talk much right now, uh, Miss Reed, but uh, what about that old piano, Miss Reed, the one in the Lutcher parlor? Huh? Well, her mother had to skimp and save for a long time in order to pay for it on time. I'm sure. And it was a luxury, of course, when they got it. But at, and at first, they shooed Nellie away from the piano. Who'd ever want to shoo you away from the <laughs> piano, Nellie, huh? <laughs> but one day, they found Nellie kicking over the keys, and finally she evolved a little tune, and after that, the piano was hers. Wonderful. You had to stand on the family Bible so you could reach the keyboard. Oh, my. <laughs> While other children were getting, getting their nets and poles to go to the fishing pond, Nellie was busy at her piano. Hmm. Now, who would that be, Nellie? He was principal of our school and still is, and the husband of your childhood music teacher, whom you've just said, passed on. It's Professor Ralph Clifton Reno of Lake Charles, Louisiana. And here he is. Oh, hello, Nellie. I'm so glad to see you. Glad to see you. Well, Nellie was a hard worker, you say, Professor Reno. Was she a hard worker, sir? And only a hard worker. But uh, for years... She would um, have the children to come to her home, and she would uh, work for her mother with, on the wash, the wash tub. And many days have I seen her stand on a little bench over the wash tub and wash the small pieces of articles, while she and her sister would carry in the laundry. 
Well, it isn't genius alone that makes for success, is it, Professor Raynaud? No, indeed. Not uh, by any means. While she had plenty of that, yet she could hear a piece of music and uh, play it back to you exactly as it is written by air. Well, you played for the choir, uh, didn't you, Nellie? Yes, I did. You did? At the, what was the name of the church? Sunlight Baptist, Sunlight Baptist church. church. At the age of seven. <laughs> but that's where she came near getting a punishment. Oh, it did. You almost got a paddling? How was paddling. that, sir? Huh? <laughs> well, she was playing for the, uh, practicing at the church, and to our astonishment, we heard a, a peculiar kind of music, something like a jazz music coming from the, the piano. church. Did you do that, Nellie? <laughs> it wasn't really jazz at all, was it? And rotten, it just was a good feeling. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Jubilee music, sort of, eh? Well, thank you very much, Miss Maud Reed and Professor Ralph Clifton Raynaud for coming here to Hollywood to take your places in Nellie Lutcher's life. Have seats over there in the club. We'll join you in just a moment. Oh, dear. Well, we're going to have some fun here on our New Year's Eve show. I know Nellie is. We hope that you're having fun, everybody. Gee, what a wonderful night, the most wonderful in the year, New Year's Eve. Huh? How are we doing, Nellie? Huh? Well, I'm doing wonderful. You having fun? Yes, I am. She's just been telling me she was never so surprised in her life, and of course we know that, too. Oh, my. She also told me she wears Hazel Bishop no smear lipstick. She was listening to Anita. Sure. God bless you. That's fine. You're going to need it for you're through, kid. Oh, my. This is a real New Year's surprise we've fixed up for you. Well... There's lots more to come, so hang on, Nellie Lutcher. This is your life. It's 1924 in Lake Charles, Louisiana. The Lutcher family is growing, and you, the oldest, have to help Mom with a half dozen younger kids. 1928, you're 12 years old, Nellie. Your father organizes an entertainment group. You play such Texas towns as Deweyville, Best May, and Port Arthur, right? How many were in that group, Nellie? Do you remember? Um, about eight, weren't there? Eight. You traveled in an old battered Model T. <laughs> you remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Then uh, uh, there was a whole bunch of them. Uh, let's see, one was Alan Prade. He weighed 300 pounds. Yes. He was one member, yeah. That was then, that's 20 years ago, but today is 404. 404 pounds. Now, this we have to see, huh, Nellie? All right, if you can get through our Hazel Bishop Archway, come in, Alan Prade, now of New Iberia, Louisiana. <laughs> My goodness, how they ever got you in a, in, a, in a Model T, let alone seven other people with you, is a mystery to me, Al. <laughs> well, we had our difficult a lot of time when we get to a hill in the... I'd get out and walk up and they run up the car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Nellie? That's very true. Yeah, my. Well, that way at least you'd get to lose some weight. No, I never lost. Always gain. <laughs> <laughs> Will you join Nellie's path there, please? Alan, go Rage, go over there and have a couple of chairs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we move along through the years. Well... <laughs> You're 14 years old here in 1930, Nellie Lutcher. You're playing for parties and dances at 50 cents a night. You find time to embroider uh, this pillow slip here for your mother. You remember this? Uh, yes, I do. You embroidered that. Yes, Don't do. ask us how we got it, because we got a lot of things made. What's the SL for, huh? Susie Lutcher. It's my, my mother's initial. Yes. Well, you see, we know all about you, Nellie. <laughs> Nineteen thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, nineteen thirty-four. You're playing in and around Lake Charles in New Orleans with Clarence Hart and his little band. The income's pretty meager. You keep a little for yourself. Most of it goes to mom and dad and the kids. You continue to play for the church. Nineteen thirty-five, a climax, a turning point in your career, Nellie Lutcher. Nellie took the twenty-seven dollars which had taken her two years to see and came to Hollywood. Now, uh, whose voice is that? Nellie, she's been beside you all through your professional career, your companion, Vida. secretary, your sister Vida. Here she is. Here. Vida. Vida. Bless you. My goodness, I'd be awful proud to have a sister like that, too, Vida. What made Nellie decide suddenly to leave Lake Charles and come to Hollywood, Vida? 
Well, Stephen Fetchett was making a personal appearance. Yep. And his pianist took six, mm-hmm. so Nellie had to took over. Took over. Uh-huh. He told Nellie she'd do very good in Hollywood, and she had great talent. Oh, and you took his advice, huh, Nellie? You came to Hollywood. But it wasn't all the bad roses for Nellie when she came to Hollywood. She played many of the little honky-tonks during the year. I'm sure. Not easy to hit the big time, is it? Well, thank you, Vida, Sister Vida, for telling us about the career-turning part in your sister Nellie's life. Join your past there, please. My, the club's filling up, and the record of her life is spinning on. And you're in Hollywood. So let's move back. Come on, Nellie, to the surroundings that have become familiar to you as one of the world's greatest nightclub entertainers. Come on over here to the piano. You know so well. Come on, sit over here. Here's the gang. Here's Nellie. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, sit down at the keyboard here, honey. This is a far cry from the old piano in your mother's parlor in Lake Charles, isn't it, Nellie? Yes, it is. Oh, my. Well, your marriage is not a happy one. And uh, you have to work hard to support your son, uh, Talmage. Where is he now, by the way? He's in New Orleans. In New Orleans. Yes. The music we're listening to is a song you wrote for him, isn't it? That's right. Well, it's called what? My Little Boy. My Little Boy, and you wrote it for Talmage. That's right. The little boy is 16 now, and I'll yes. bet he's mighty proud of Mom. My goodness. But these are the late 30s and 40s in your life, Nellie Lutcher, and uh, you're... Picking up whatever money you can, playing one-night stands in little cafes on Main Street, on Western Avenue, and at 7th and Wall here in Los Angeles. You're not a star yet, so at $14 a week on Main Street, it's, so oh, $15 a week at the Club Alabama, $50 a week on a gambling ship. Ah, uh, but then the tide turned for Nellie in 1947. Thanks to a March of Dimes broadcast, she did over a local station here in Hollywood. Whose voice is that? Yes, Sam Dexter. Yes, he played a long shot. Had you record your song, Hurry On Down, for Capitol Records, and started you on the road to prosperity and fame, Dave Dexter, and here he is. (laughs) Oh, Oh, You did all right with her, you know, Dom, didn't you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Darn right. How did the March of Dimes broadcast figure in a Dave tell us? Well, her little brother Joe came in one day to my office at Capitol with some songs he had written, and he had them on a little homemade record. Yes. Now, the songs we couldn't use. Yes. But the girl who was singing on this record, he said, was his sister, mm-hmm. and she was great. Yes, so you signed it? Oh, no, Joe, he was a little miffed because we didn't like the songs. He grabbed his little record, ran out the door, and I lost track of everything. <laughs> well, what'd you do, Dave? Well, I had to wait till about a year later, yes. and I heard Nellie on a March of Dimes charity broadcast here in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And right then, I knew that was it. Yes, thanks to you, Dave Dexter. Right, Nellie? <laughs> That's right. I should say. Well, hurry on down, by the way. Hurry on down to our club here and just sit here and join Thank her class, Dave. Thank you. You're truly an important part of it. Hurry on down. The song you wrote and recorded, Nellie, turned out to be one of Capitol Records' greatest hits. Listen. Oh, there it is. Isn't that led you to write other songs and to record them. It also made you, Nellie Lutcher, a headline entertainer in every important night spot in America and in Europe. Oh, he's got a fine brand frame. Yes. <laughs> Cafe Society in New York, in your song, Nellie, a fine brown frame. it is fine brand Yes. Who does he say me? Yes, he does. Here's Johnny. Does he send me? He sends me at the Hippodrome in Manchester, England. He sends me. Bring back a flood of memories, don't you? Now listen to this. We heard some of it, didn't we, kid? Wonderful. Well, you're wowing them at the Oriental Theater in Chicago with the ever-popular Let Me Love You Tonight. Let me love you tonight. 
let me tell you how much I adore all of your charm. Oh. And they're screaming for more at the Palomar in Seattle. You're singing The Ladies in Love with you. If there is a gleam in her eyes Each time she's speaking Well, this, we could just go on and on, but there's one song we haven't heard you sing, Nellie Lutcher. My Little Boy, written for Talmadge, your little boy. Would you mind singing it for us, Nellie? Just a little of it. Huh? My little boy, my little boy. Look who we got here. Who's this? Sally. Sally. <laughs> yes, your son, Talmage Nelly, a wonderful guy, and he's not playing hooky from school now, honey. Don't you worry. Dr. Charlotte Hawkins Brown, head of Palmer Memorial Institute, gave him permission to be here. Isn't that right, Tommy? Thank you, and I wouldn't have missed it for anything in the world. But I just can't thank all the things you've done for me. Oh, bless your heart. That's the greatest tribute any mother could hope for. Well, sit down here with Mommy. Move over, Nellie, and let son Tommy sit here. This is your life, Nellie Lutcher. Look around you. There's your life from the past to the present. Now, what about 1953 and the years to come? It's always hard to predict the future, but I think it's safe to predict your Hazel Bishop future is going to start off with a mighty happy new year. Now, before we uh, let you in on the secret, though, Bob Warren has a prediction he'd like to make. Well, my goodness. Now, Nellie Lutcher, out of your past and present into your future. All your past, by the way, has been flown to Hollywood by a luxurious 300-mile-an-hour TWA Transworld Airlines Constellation, the airline that features a special thrift service to Europe and Sky Tourist Service in the United States, as well as regular fare and luxury TWA ambassador service here and abroad. Well, how are you doing, Nellie? Uh, oh, I'm the most surprised person <laughs> in the world tonight. Look, at just hanging on to tell me down here for dear life. Well... We know that the new year is getting off to a good start for you with the release of your newest Columbia record, Muchly Verily. Now, uh, it'll be a pleasant surprise to you to learn, though, that Hazel Bishop has arranged with Mr. Glenn Wallach, president of Capitol Records, to honor you by reissuing your record album, Real Gone. And, of course, you have that wonderful record, Real Gone Guy, in there. And uh, uh, they're going to put behind it the full promotion it had in its original release. And honoring your mom and dad, Nellie, uh, who worked so hard during your childhood to give you the chance you deserve. Uh, we've had the old piano you first practiced on shipped here to Hollywood. There it is, Nellie, over there. Oh, <laughs> oh there's, a, <laughs> there's a wonderful plaque on it that has some mighty wonderful words on this plaque, a gold plaque. And speaking of your father and mother, Hazel Bishop is presenting them with this beautiful 21-inch screen Westinghouse television set that provides unsurpassed clarity and brilliance with three-way picture perfection. You can be sure of it's Westinghouse. And it, this is for Mommy and Dad, too, a 12-foot Amana freezer with a 430-pound capacity manufactured in the century-old Amana colonies in Amana, Iowa. Now, that should make Mom and Dad very happy, don't you think, Nellie? Very happy, <laughs> So that this experience may live with you always, Hazel Bishop is giving you a 16-millimeter sound film of this program, you see, and a wonderful new movie mic 16-millimeter projector. The new movie mic sound projector can be set up in your home in three minutes and gives you high-fidelity sound and picture. Now you can have movies at home with your movie mic and play over this very show. And furthermore, as a personal tribute to you and in lasting uh, remembrance, of your uh, appearance here. Uh, here is an appropriately engraved, beautiful Bulova diamond wristwatch from America's great watch manufacturer, Bulova. Beautiful diamond Bulova watch there. There you are. And here is a pin, making you a member of one of the world's most exclusive. This is just part of the little, nice little trimmings around it. It's a lovely watch. 
Uh, here is a pin making you a member of one of the world's most exclusive clubs, the honored members of, uh, who have appeared on This Is Your Life. There you are. And finally, here you are. You, you get in there and you can wear it forever. God bless you. And finally, Hazel Bishop has one last surprise in store for you, Nellie. From Lake Charles has come an official representative of the Honorable T.C. Price, Mayor. She's the director of the Lake Charles Little Theater, your dear friend, Miss Rosa Hart. And here she is. <laughs> And best of all, honey, the key to the city and the key to our heart. Oh, well, bless you. your heart. Thank and uh, you. Miss Hart, how wonderful of you. They're, they're all, uh, by the way, aren't they all watching uh, back there in Lake Charles? A big television set has been put up by the... That's the city hall. A big television set's been there, and they're all watching and looking at you oh. and wishing you all the good luck for the new year and oh. the best in your mind. Isn't that... Really, really great. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Rosa Hart. There are just millions of telegrams there. Your dad and mother has one there. They are price the whole gang. Thank you. Uh, and thank all of Nellie's friends, we do. And uh, we'll celebrate the new year at a gala party Hazel Bishop has arranged in your honor, Nellie, right after our program. This is your life, Nellie Lutcher. We've relived it with pride. You've set an inspiring example, not only to your own friends and neighbors, but to all Americans. We'll all be there to see you open at the Oasis here in Los Angeles on the night of uh, January 5th. Eh? Until then, Nellie Lutcher, Happy New Year. Goodbye, and may God bless you. Well, have your family and friends around your television set next week for one of the most exciting This Is Your Life shows you've ever seen. Until then, so long. Happy New Year. From Hazel Bishop, No Smear Lipstick. So long, everybody. Bye. This is Your Life. It's directed by Axel Gruenberg, produced by Alfred Pascal and Axel Gruenberg for Ralph Edwards.